OpenAI's release of Sora this past month shocked many as it's revolutionizing text-to-video output with the help of AI. Well, many were kind of disheartened with this news because it was fully restricted in terms of its access to the Sora model. Well, guess what? Today, I'm going to be showcasing and introducing open source Sora. This is a new project which is democratizing efficient video production completely for free and with no restrictions. Open Sora is this new initiative which is dedicated in efficiently producing high quality video and the model is allowing you to make and utilize different tools as well as contents that is fully accessible for everyone. It is fully open source, but just know is that it's still in early stages, meaning that it will have a lot of bugs and a lot of errors because it's not fully refined yet. Now, just take a look at this demo video, which is the night screen of the night sky. I know the quality is lacking, but this is because it's a GIF, so it has been compressed and it lost its quality. The prompt was given to create the video and it stated that create a video of the serene night with the scene in a forested area. Now the first frame shows a tranquil lake reflecting the star filled sky above. The condo frame reveals a beautiful sunset casting a warm glow over the landscape. Now there is a bit more to the prompt but it's a little too lengthy so I don't want to just keep reading over it. But we're able to see that if you give OpenSora a detailed prompt with scenes and actions of the video you want it to actually create, it will actually generate it exactly with a really nice visual in a video format. This is the quality of OpenSora, which is a great alternative that is finally accessible. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now, isn't that incredible? Open Sora can generate videos precisely according to any sort of detailed prompt. It will deliver visually appealing results in any sort of video format. Now, this is something that offers so much potential and it's something that you can access today. And it's something that we're going to explore throughout today's video. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Open Sora. This is something that is democratizing efficient video production for AI. It's an initiative that is focused on revolutionizing video production and it's gonna be making high quality video generation that is accessible to anyone. You're able to generate various sorts of videos, whether that's nature, uh, like delivered videos or it could be any sort of specific video detailing cars and in this case you can see a prompt that was given to create this video was a bustling city and street at night filled with the glow of car headlights and ambient light of the street lights you have other examples of a turtle in this case which is a serene underwater scene featuring a sea turtle swimming through a coral reef the turtle is with a greenish brown shell and it's able to accurately deliver the generation based off the prompt that you give it now, through the principles of the open source, open Sora model, it not only democratizes the access to advanced video generation techniques, but it also offers a user friendly platform that simplifies the complexities of video generation. This is something that I'm going to showcase as this initiative is now aiming to inspire different sorts of creativity as well as content creation. This is kind of in early stages, so just keep that in mind, but they have already released their first version, which is featuring a full pipeline of video data processing. You're going to be able to feature training with acceleration, inference, and so much more. Now, with this new model, it's kind of 
like advanced and it achieves significant cost reductions in its training and it makes it a little bit better in terms of using this text to video model in comparison to the other ones that are out there. Now I truly recommend that you take a look at the gallery because there's some really cool generations that have been created. Now as I saw before like we showed this video it looks really nice from this perspective because it's a GIF but if we are to open it up obviously it's not going to be the best quality but we can see that in most cases these videos are really really detailed and they're able to generate quite nicely. Now in certain cases you're going to have the same sort of hallucination that you would have with the Sora model. In this case, you can see that these waves look kind of goofy. And <laughs> in this case, you have this deer turning around, which looks kind of a little weird. But you get the gist of it. It's still in production and it's still getting better and better. And overall, it's able to generate really nice scenes and it's able to do it with quite detailed prompt. So if you are to give it these detailed prompts, it's going to be able to deliver on each and every aspect of that prompt. Now, if you're interested, you can actually try this out on Hugging Face Spaces so you can deliver different prompts to this interface and it will be able to generate the videos. And you can see that this is the same video that we mentioned before in that demo, but you're going to be able to change it up, test it out and see how it's able to generate with this model. Now, the release with this new version of this open source model is that it's going to be able to support the complete pipeline for video data pre-processing. This means that training with accelerated processing, inference, as well as additional features will be able to get you the best of the best generation. Now, the only thing that you want to keep in mind is that it's not going to be able to generate large video length. It's only going to be able to generate like two to five seconds, which is not ideal, but it's a great start. It's something where we're seeing that is kind of in comparison to the original Sora model. And we can see that it comes with a 512 to times that by, by 512 resolution and it's something that is just with three days of training. Now there's many other notable features. First, we're able to see that a smaller data set of 400k video clips as well as 200 H 800 days are able to efficiently generate two second videos. Additionally from this, they stated that the training process now encompasses three different stages, transitioning from an image diffusion model to a video diffusion model. And they stated that with provided rates for each stage, you're going to be able to see that there's going to be support for training acceleration, including the accelerated transformer, which is faster than the T5, as well as sequence parallelism, which has been implemented. And they stated that it also results in a 55% increase. So overall, we're able to see that with the new features of this open source model, it's going to be able to incorporate improvements in better quality as well as speed trade-offs. So eventually, as they are to infuse these different features, it's going to get better and better and it's going to be able to efficiently generate at a cheaper token cost and it's also going to be able to generate in the future with a larger context window. So as in, it's going to generate a larger length. So if you're interested in installing this, you need to make sure that you have Conda installed you need to make sure that you have pip installed as well as Python and Git. Once you have those four things installed, you can then follow through with these command lines over here. You start off by creating the virtual environment, install torch, copy this command, and you're going to be able to do it quite easily. Then you can install flash attention, install Apex, which is optional. You can install the X farmers, and then you can install this project finally. And you can then easily start it up and start using and utilizing this application. It's something that is kind of hard for the basic user, but if you're able to like follow through with these basic steps with a good computational power that is backing it, you're going to be able to run it quite easily and generate different prompts with it. So definitely stay uh, follow through with these different commands as it's something that will showcase how you can install it. But after installation, they suggested that you read the structure to learn the project structure and how you can use the configure files. So they showcase where you can generate, where you can input certain prompts to generate different videos. And that's about it for today's video on Open Sora. This is definitely an amazing option that is fully accessible and can generate videos quite precisely according to your prompt. And I truly believe that this is the best option that's out there in terms of text to video, as there's many other like uh, feasible options that are out there, but it's not able to replicate the same sort of quality as well as the same sort of output. 
But this is something that you should definitely take a look at with the link in the description below. I'll leave all the links as to what I used in today's video. Make sure you check out the Patreon page. And this is a great way for you to access different subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. There's a lot of videos out here, so definitely recommend that you check it out. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.